What's up, Private Sergeant Kena here? So, Scrolls updated on Monday, I believe it was the 26th, and they came out with the K, uh, like 40, the K deck, the pre constructed deck, like 46 other cards, um, some new avatars and skins, and then they came out with six new trials too easy, too medium, too hard. So, I did most of the, no, I did all of the medium and easy before, but now since there's more easy and medium ones, I gotta go, I wanna go back and do that, and do these before I move on to the hard ones. Because if you go to the easy one, you got Critter and Baby Boom, and both of these are worth, that's 250, and I'm poor, and I wanna buy Decay. So I'm gonna be playing Critter right now. See, Critter, the forces of Ilmire are gaining in confidence, and they are spreading into the towns, and is Bringing their diseases forces with them. It's dirty work, but someone needs to take charge. So destroy three of your opponent's idols to win, and your opponent's creature enter the battle with two health. So, I'm assuming this is going to be a... De since Decay came out, I'm assuming it's going to be a Decay deck. Since it's saying, like, their disease is spreading, yada yada, you know. I'm assuming. Let's, let's hope that that's what it is. Because I don't want to fight some in obscenely strong deck. That's not, that's not something I would be looking forward to right now. We'll just sacrifice for now. Yeah, there's definitely a decay deck. So mains you rat. I don't like mains you rat. He uh, every time he attacks someone, he poisons and like, th and poison is like a big thing that revolves around the decay deck. And their poison can actually be ridiculously strong since there's an item that raises their poison by uh, damage by one every time it ticks or every round. So it gets ridiculously strong. You could just absolutely annihilate your, your any any creature you have on your board let's see um i'm gonna sacrifice the what is it the champion ring this guy has one health so i'll summon out one of my my uh, mangy or ragged wolves and that will kill him since and uh, you don't get poisoned when you kill them it's you only get poisoned if they attack so that's i'll leave it as that is now I could summon my other Ragged Wolf that turn, but I didn't really feel like it. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to, you know, need him for something else. It's actually, mm, let's get our Sister of Fox out and see what we get, and then we'll sacrifice that. Ranger's Bane, don't really want Ranger's Bane. I'll use that to sacrifice for some more resource, and then use uh, Eagle Eye. So we got, we got a veteran from that, you know, that's not bad, that's not bad. Alright, these guys, I just I just do not like these guys. This uh, return to nature, when it's brought out to the field, it reduces every creature's HP by one. And if it kills something, the other team, or the, the other, the opposing enemy, um, gains a growth. So that, while that that's, could be really strong if you're a growth deck, overall it could be very, very annoying when you're versus a growth deck and they get a uh, higher resource advantage over you because of this. Now it takes two resources so they have to give up a little bit for it but in the long run it's it's very good if you get a lot of them. Let's see. Hmm. Alright let's cast this see what we get. Brother of the Wolf. Uh, let's just sacrifice Ragged Wolf for now so we have four energy next turn. We can summon Brother of the Wolf which will be nice and get out some more Ragged Wolves. Ah, uh, Soul Stealer. Yes, the Decay deck is very, very annoying in the aspect that it could take a lot of your units and they can summon a lot of units. Yes, this killed my unit. It w anything that has two or less health, you killed it and then summoned a Meyer Shambler, which is this thing. It does it has three attack and one health, and it just it it could really it could really annihilate you really fast. So we got Inner Power. Let's sacrifice that. This guy's not going to be able to attack for two turns. So let's mm, let's bring out let's actually bring out my veteran so it can instantly get him off the board. I just don't want him sitting around. And that, what he actually does is when he when his cooldown goes all the way down or it gets to zero, he moves to an adjacent tile. So since he was here, he would have moved here or here or somewhere in the opposite lane. Or actually, it might have been back or forward as well. And then they attack. So you're not it's it's really like you don't know exactly where they're gonna attack. So. I could sacrifice Vader here for just a permanent energy increase, or I could summon him. But that might be a little bit risky because this guy is right here, and he's similar to, uh, what is it, um, the the Sacrificial Zealot, and I believe it's Order. When when cooldown gets to zero, he can sacrifice himself and deals two 
damage to the opponent's idol. But it doesn't. Okay, so it does it to the idol instead of not the actual person. So this this uh, this Vader would actually be safe here. Now I could summon Brother of the Wolf, and I think I'm gonna end up doing that. I'm gonna summon him over here. And I have nothing to sacrifice this turn, but that's that's fine. I should I should be fine with that. So what's this? I haven't actually seen this guy before. When Viscara Sage kills another unit, it draws one scroll. That's that's not bad. That's similar to uh, very similar to Brave, and uh, but its cooldown's not the same. Other than that, it, you know, I mean, but when I mean similar to Brave, I mean similar in uh, in HP and damage. Its cooldown's not the same, but if it kills something, it could be very powerful. Hmm. So we can move Kinfolk Veteran here, and we can summon another Kinfolk Veteran, which would wipe out this lane, which is probably what I should do. If I can wipe out their lane and get their, their creatures completely off the field. See, now I have I have four things on the field, which is a lot better than than them having them or them having two. I have four. Uh, well, they have two back up again. But if I didn't kill them, they might have had you know four creatures up. Which would not have been as which wouldn't have been as good. So I have fertile soil. I could summon fort fertile soil. I could, uh, but I, there's n or I could use it, but there's nothing I really want to use it on. I could use it on uh, my Vader, but uh, that's not something I really want to do right now. Mm, I I do want to summon my wolf, but it's that's very like. If I summon my, I, I need to sac keep sacrificing, but I don't really have the, the scrolls for it. So I think I'm gonna just end this turn here, not sacrifice any cards, just summon a wolf, and then in the next turn, whatever I get, I'll, I'll summon that if it's a creature, and I'll, and I'll fertile soil it. So ragged wolf, yeah, that's that's a good enough creature to, to summon in a fertile soil. So we'll do that. We got dryadic power, binding root, mangy wolf. That's that's not bad. We can whip out a. Uh, Great Wolf Mangy combo if we get up to, you know, 9 energy. So we'll sacrifice this Binding Root. It's good these kinfolks keep wiping them out. That's that's really good for me. Hmm, so they summon a Frostbeard. A Frostbeard is, you know, not even a joke. Oh, so they, they put Meyer's Curse on me, which that that took out my Vader, my, uh, my Vader of the Wild because every... Beginning of each of its turns, it deals one damage to the surrounding opponents, so just deals one damage to everyone around here. Hit this guy, my uh, brother the wolf, and uh, Vader, and killed him. So let's see. We got rallying. We could great wolf. We could great wolf, dryadic power, and then. Rally, and then we can mangy wolf next turn, and that will kill both of these. This guy will get one attack off, which won't be too bad, since we're dryadic powering this. He, now, he won't be able to move, but I really shouldn't have to worry too much about that, since this is an easy trial. I could have summoned another wolf there. I, I didn't realize that he was uh, down on his cooldowns were up. Oh, so what's this? So we got Husk. It's just It's just a normal unit, no benefits. We got Tethered Recruit. When destroyed, orders increased by one. So there's a lot of cards in this deck that can, you know, I, I see Decay as like a, a big support deck that goes well with other decks. Um, it can be a deck on its own. It just takes a, uh, the decks that I've been against takes a while to charge up against them. So maybe not the best. So let's Mangy Wolf. And let's uh, sacrifice the Jarl for... For resource that should get rid of all of them yeah that did now that's a lot of damage we did a lot to these top three totems which is good another one of these husks I can I kind of really want to get these guys out of here all right I'm gonna I'm gonna move these guys down here because I want I want these to die if I get if I can get these down and out of out of the way that would be really good let's see let me move him and summon a, a wolf and then move this guy back here so he can only damage uh brother of the wolf will die this turn that's not something I'm looking forward to all right I could sacrifice this or I could all right if I do this this won't go down. This will have 4 HP left. I should have actually kept my uh, 
guys over there, it would have been better. See, that would be two damage. That's probably gonna rally this turn, actually. Alright, let's see. That That's definitely en enough to kill that. Yeah, let's rally this turn. We, uh, we could... Can this one move? No, it can't. This one already moved. Alright, so we'll rally this turn. It'll kill most of everything. But it won't be enough to get this last totem to go down. It'll be alright. We wiped we wiped the field, which is which is the positive, and Brother the Wolf will will die next turn. Wait, he had yeah, he had under one two HP. Or two or lower because of uh Miter's curse keeps damaging him. Alright. So we can sacrifice this or we can summon for more cards. Mm, we got a mangy wolf. Well that's that's the end of, of this one. Let's see, if I mangy wolf, yep. That will be the end of that. We'll just we'll just go overkill and uh use our crimson bowl just to give it more damage. That wasn't too bad. I like I like the little trials they added. That's that's 346 gold. That's closer to me being able to get the K deck and see see what it's all about, see all of the units that it comes with. Uh, I like that they added the new uh, what the new decay uh, trials because you know now that the decay deck is here, you know going through the trials, you'll kind of get the idea of what you're going to come up against. But not that not that bad of a trial, but I'm not expecting a lot of an easy trial. But thank you guys for watching and Sergeant Kunai signing out.